Today we're going to take a look at some pretty unique shapes uh, coming out of Japan. There's kind of a group shot right there. And uh, let's just go straight to it up to the top. This top row are not necessarily unique shapes. They've been around before. Starting with this uh, typical mandolin, longer mandolin shape here. The Andrew Moon shape. This goes back uh, over 100 years, this shape. DeAndre had that into their catalog in the 30s or 40s. Home plate's been around a while. And this is the Pierce shape from the 1970s. But none of these shapes are in common use today. But they certainly are in Japan. And uh, I've never seen a home plate pick with uh, this sort of print on it. How unique is that? See if we get a nice focus on it. There we go. And the pier shape here appears to be promoting a band. And this checkered pattern, material is made that way. And in Japanese, something guilds, perhaps something related to one of their guitar guilds. Well, the second row is absolutely distinctly Japanese. I've never seen shapes like these before. Look at this huge ergo pick. This thing in the form of a cartoon balloon that would encircle comments in a cartoon. Very unique shape, similar to uh, a mandolin, but I'm not seeing nothing like it in the Western catalog. Same with these diamonds. This big here. I don't know what to make of it. Just got that tip on it. No idea what it is, and then you have the button. The button is an idea that may have been seen before, but they've made it popular. Going down here to these casho picks, that's a completely unique shape there. Whoever casho or product it is, they made it in four gauges with different color print, and it came in a series. And you'll see this is a home plate pick. We've seen home plates before, but this one is huge. We've seen this, something similar, the number 86, or what's known as the Nick Lucas Deluxe. And uh, each uh, color gauge came in a series of five picks. And we have it here in this uh, Grisman Mando shape, and the Les Paul 347 shape as well. So there's some cool shapes coming out of Japan. They're still doing it. Innovators, as far as copiers, well, they do a great job of that too. But they're certainly innovators in, the, in many respects as well in the modern pick age. Thanks for joining me. Bye-bye.